I'm Leaf. And my name's Jasmine. We're on a quest to find the seven gems of the Belt of Del Tora that were stolen by the evil Shadow Lord. We've already found the Topaz, the Ruby, the Opal, and the Lapis Lazuli. And we've been fighting all kinds of weird creatures, but nothing we couldn't handle. Just don't forget there are still three more gems to find, and who knows what kind of monsters will be guarding them. Come on, Barda, stop being such a wet blanket. Now we're on our way to a place called Dread Mountain, where the fifth gem is hidden. We cannot. By carrying us on your backs to the mountain, you'd cut our travel time by a week or more. I beg you, give the matter more consideration. If we go back, the Dread Gnomes will finish our kind once and for all. I cannot allow that. Don't you want to go back? It's your home. It's not fair that you were exiled here forever. To tell you the truth, I've thought about going back before. It would be an adventure. It's important that we get to Dread Mountain as quickly as we can. We're being chased because we're on a quest that will return peace to all of Del Tora. Isn't he the coolest? We could go home if peace was returned to the entire kingdom. It would mean the gnomes would have to stop attacking us. Just imagine, by taking them, we'd be fighting to get our mountain back. That's right. Our quest is for all Del Torrens to reclaim their land from the evil Shadow Lord. My fellow kin, don't you think it's worth it to at least try? Besides, don't we owe him? He risked his life to save Little One. I think we must help him. It's the right thing to do. I, I agree. agree. Don't be foolish. It isn't as simple as that. Oh. But Elder Kren, don't you see? I got because he saved me from those bad guys! And then I'd be able to go with you in your dream! No, Prin. It's too dangerous. I won't allow it. I've mourned enough already for the loss of far too many kin. We are grateful to you, but you must understand why we cannot do this. All day spent arguing, and he still won't budge an inch. I have to wonder if there's any way we can convince him. His reasons aren't selfish, though. He's clearly concerned about the safety of all the kin. That's exactly what makes him a good leader. I wonder if we should just go there on our own. Yeah, I think that'd be best. I don't want to push the issue anymore. We'll just walk like we originally planned. How long do you think it'll take to get there? Roughly two weeks would be my guess. It's gonna take two weeks? The direct route takes us through several difficult mountain passes. That's why I thought flying was such a good idea. It would have been so much quicker. Oh, well, before we met the kin, we thought we were going to have to walk anyway. So let's get some sleep. We're going to want to head out early tomorrow. Are you all right, Leaf? I'm fine. I'm just a bit thirsty. I'm going to go get a drink at the spring. Here's to you, Mom and Dad. Father? It's me, Leaf, your son. Don't you recognize me? You're not even moving your eyes. Can't you hear me? Please say something. <sighs> That's right. Kren told us that only our spirit is present in the dream. He can't see or hear me. How are you finding the accommodations here? Jared, the humble blacksmith. Huh? Prandine? That's Prandine? I remember Dad told me he was King Endon's chief advisor who was secretly <laughs> working for the Shadow Lord the whole time. You can't be. I'm seeing things. There's no need to look. No one's there. Huh. A likely story. I saw you fall. You can't be real. Ah, you remember that. But I assure you, I am not Prandine. So tell me, who are you? Who I am doesn't concern you. 
All you need to know is that I am a servant of the master of this kingdom, the all-powerful Shadow Lord. But you look just like him. When one passes, there is always another. The master prefers this face and form. It's why he chose to give it to me, and why I resemble that miserable fool. Now that introductions are out of the way, let's get down to business. Father! Are you going to make this easy, or are you going to make this fun? Stop it! There has always been only one copy of this book in the palace library. Why was it found in your house, blacksmith? The belt of Del Tora. I don't remember. Don't try to play games with me. The master knows that you helped your fool of a friend, Endon, escape along with his witless bride and their unborn brat. <laughs> Endon was a complete fool, wasn't he? He thought I was a traitor. He would never have asked me to help him escape. All the better, because I wouldn't do a thing to help that coward. Will that be all? Your son. Where is your son, blacksmith? My son. That boy broke his mother's heart, and mine. He left our house months ago. Blacksmith worked for him, so he ran off with his friends. We don't know where he is. That's a lie! Oh. Mother! Oh. You see, peasant, we have reports of three travelers who have destroyed certain allies and stolen valued goods from my master. We know of your futile plan to reclaim the kingdom. The three are a grown man, a wild girl with a black bird, and a boy of about your son's age. So, blacksmith, we already know everything. The young boy is your son, and the grown man is your friend, Endon. Will you continue to play innocent with me? <laughs> I hope so. I'm so enjoying our conversation. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it, too. How dare you! Your story makes me laugh. If Endon was that intelligent or brave, he never would have lost his kingdom or my friendship. And if my son was really so dedicated, he never would have left his parents alone at the forge. Unfortunately, the truth is different. Endon is a foolish coward, and my son is lazy and only thinks of himself. No! How dare you do that? The next time I see you, I expect to hear answers, not lies. It would not be wise of you to try my patience, Blacksmith. Your life is not the only one that's mine to play with. We also have your wife. You leave her out of this! <clears throat> Lee, Barda, it's good to hear that you're alive. Not only that, but you're actually succeeding in getting the gems. Right, Father. We are. We've already got four, and they're on the belt. We're on our way to Dread Mountain right now to get the fifth, and we're moving as fast as our feet will take us. So hang in there. We're gonna be back before you know it. Don't give up. If I could talk to you, I'd tell you never give up, and that I'm fighting my fight as best I can. You must always remember that what you are doing is for the freedom of all of Del Toro. I will, Father. You're awake. What did you dream about? So they think I'm Endon. My mother would have been so proud. But I don't think she'd ever have believed it. This is really good news, though. It means they still haven't realized the beggar who used to ask for change outside the forge has also disappeared. Morning, Jasmine. Nothing happened. I drank the water, but I didn't dream of anything. I tried to think of my dad's face, but I was so young when he was taken. It's just a blur to me. I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's probably better this way. He was taken prisoner by great guards and most likely suffered a great deal. I just hope he's with my mom now. Besides, there's nothing I can do about it anyway. So let's just drop it. We should get going. You're right. Let's go. Good. You're all still here. Huh? We've been thinking it over. And we've decided that we want to help you get to Dread Mountain. Are you sure? I mean, that'd be really great. Thank you. Does that mean Elder Kren changed his mind? Mm-mm. <laughs> then I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, don't worry. No one listens to the old man anyway. We've decided we're going, and that's that. I don't think anybody could change our minds about this. Yeah. yeah. 
He's a wise man, but he can be very stubborn at times. He's always like that. It's useless to try and convince him. But it wouldn't feel right. You don't have to worry. We'll take care of everything. <clears throat> All aboard. Should I just hop on? You do, and I'll bop you one. Oh. Hmm. Uh, where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> Are you snuggly woggly in your pouchy wouchy? Stop laughing at me. You should be proud, Marin. Looks like you got the biggest baby. Look how cute her big baby looks in her pouch. Quit teasing the poor human. We don't want to make him cry now. <laughs> Okay, this is a bit embarrassing. You think? I think it's kind of cozy. So, ready for takeoff? Wait right there. Mm -hmm. What do you think you're doing? I already said that I was against any of you taking them to Dread Mountain. We, we know. know. Please, don't try to stop us. You need to understand that we're doing this for the future of our tribe. What do you mean? We already discussed this yesterday. Your actions will accomplish nothing and we will lose three more kin. You know he's right. Please, don't be foolish. I can't stand the thought of mourning for the three of you. Foolish? You already have little one, but we have no young. We need to eat the Boulong cones. Hmm. This is something we should have done a long, long time ago. It's true. We're safe here and happy to be together. But we're all getting older, and soon there won't be any of us left. If we want our kind to continue, we've got to take a chance. Can't you just go to our mountain in your dreams? I'm tired of dreams! I don't even have them, because I've never been to the mountain! Oh, Prin. I'm coming, too! No, Prin. Please take me! I really want to go with you guys! No, little one, it's too dangerous. We need to keep you safe, because you're the only one we've got. Prin! Huh? Get over here right now! Be a good girl and do as you're told! Stop bothering the adults, this is not for you to decide! You see what you have done? We were peaceful and happy here before you three arrived. We were content to visit our mountain in our dreams. Now for the first time there is anger between us and little one is unhappy. Now wait a minute! It's not fair for you to blame the strangers, Kren. Marin, Elsa, and I have agreed to go to the mountain of our own free will. That's right. Think about it. Do you want the kin to disappear forever without putting up some sort of fight? Of course not, Elsa. You know that there is nothing more important to me than protecting our tribe. We know that, but you don't seem to consider what it's like for little one. Hmm? What are you talking about? I... What kind of life is it for a child to grow up with no companions? And eventually she'll be all alone. Uh... I must admit I hadn't considered that before. You're right. You three drank from the Dreaming Spring twice now, and nothing has happened to you. Therefore, I cannot doubt that you are people with good hearts. Which means that your journey to our mountain is as you say, for the peace of all Del Tora, including us kin. Thank you, Elder. All right, girls. Mm -hmm. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and return to us with the greatest of speed. Right. right. Feel that? That's quite a tailwind. Let's get going. Mm -hmm. uh, ah! Hey, w why are you running? We're a lot heavier with you, so we've got to get more speed. Uh, uh, uh! But we're heading right for that cliff. Uh, 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 uh! Hold on. It's so beautiful. 
I never thought I'd get to see this. <laughs> hey, please don't fly so high. What if I accidentally fell out? It would be a lot quieter around here. <laughs> what do you think? Isn't this the coolest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go higher! N no, don't listen to her. How long will it take to reach the mountain? We'll have to stop when the sun goes down. But if we continue to have good weather like right now, we should get there tomorrow. No kidding. So tomorrow we'll find out if the Dread Gnomes still keep a lookout for the kin. Because if they do, we're going down with them. No, everything's gonna go as planned. The four gems that we've already got will protect us. I can feel it. Each gem has its own magic, but the seven gems together are far more powerful. Only the Belt of Deltora, complete as it was first fashioned by Auden and worn by Auden's true heir, has the power to defeat the enemy. We've got to get the other gems as soon as possible so we can start looking for the King's son. Without him, it's useless. Start heading down. Right. right. Really? But where are we going to land? You don't have to worry. We've done this many times. This is where we sleep whenever we make the trip between the mountain and the spring. That's why we call it kin rest. Oh, I never thought that I'd be this happy to feel firm ground below me. I can't believe what a big fuss you were making, Barda. I'm heavier than you guys, so I was constantly thinking that maybe your pouch was gonna break on me. I kept telling him he'd be all right, but he just wouldn't listen. Oh, come on. Kin children much larger than you can ride in our pouches no problem. You really are quite safe in there. But if you fuss again tomorrow, I'm leaving you here. Sorry about that. I promise I won't complain anymore. Probably. <laughs> it's really amazing how much these trees have grown since I was a child. You can barely see the stream from above because of how thick they are. Hey, Ailsa, isn't that the cave we used to play in when we were kids? It is. It's so different, though. It seems everything here has changed in some way. We always go to the mountain every night in our dreams, but we never think to come here. Hey, Jasmine, what do the trees say? Are they happy? They're excited to see Kin again. It's been a while since they've stopped here. But then, I also sense sadness and even fear in them. Something bad happened. Someone they cared for came to an untimely end here. Did they tell you when it happened? Some of these trees are hundreds of years old. Their sense of time is completely different than ours, so it's hard to say. I don't get it. What do you mean? Well, the sadness they're remembering could have happened a year ago or 20 years ago. They don't count like we do, so it's hard for me to figure out when a thing took place. Mm. It's getting a bit cold. Do you think it'd be all right if we lit a fire? Mm. The trees are so grown over, they'll hide the light. I kind of need something to cheer me up a bit right now. Sure, let's do that. Would you three come over here? We've got something we want to show you. When we were young, we always used to play in this cave whenever we stopped here. We were exploring it and reminiscing when we came across some strange things. Look at that. Apparently someone lived here. And it was a while ago. Yes, but it has to be after we fled our mountain and stopped visiting this place. We never saw anybody but other kin when we came here. There's something else, too. It looks like there's writing scratched on this stone. What do you suppose this means? Here lies Doom of the Hills, who sheltered a friendless stranger and so met his end. He will be avenged. 
That means this has to be Doom's grave. You really think this is about him? It can't be. I mean, think about it. This headstone is old. It's hard to tell, but I'd say it's been here for at least 10 years, maybe more. Hey, look at that. It's the symbol of the Resistance. Maybe the man we know is someone else entirely. The real Doom is actually buried here under this stone. You're saying he stole his identity? The real question is why does he feel the need to conceal who he is? For all we know, he could be a spy for the Shadow Lord. 